Hi everyone, I'm Nadia and in today's video I'm making two gold geode resin trays. The first thing I'm doing is making sure that both of my molds are clean and I find the easiest way to do this is by using tape. Then I mix in my part A and part B resin together for a few minutes and separate it into smaller cups where I'll add in my pigments. I'm going to be using just resins pigment pastes in the shade bright gold and titanium white. You can use my code SUMMERGIRL to save 10% on their website, I'll have links in my description. The first pigment I'm opening is bright gold, and with pigment paste you really want to make sure to mix them in the container before you use them. A lot of their content sinks to the bottom, so while I'm mixing you'll be able to see how much it changes. Then I add a small amount into my cup of resin and mix. And I do the same thing for the titanium white pigment paste. Next, I pour clear resin into the molds. And I use the wooden stick to help spread the resin to the edges of the mold. I use a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and always be sure to move your torch gun very quickly so that you don't burn your resin or your molds. And I start pouring my bright gold pigmented resin. It's pouring in a weird shape in the rectangle mold because I didn't add enough clear resin so it's following where the resin is. But next I'm going to pour in my white pigmented resin which will cover that area. And I mix in some gold leaf flakes into a separate small cup of resin as well as some broken glass pieces. Then I apply them into the center of the molds. I use a heat gun as well to heat up the resin which will help pull the pigmented resin into the center. Usually when you're using a low viscosity resin you won't need to do this but you can always use a heat gun to give it a little push. And here I am the next day demolding. As you can see, the white pigmented resin did pull into the center, but it looks like I didn't pour enough of the bright gold pigmented resin, which left the center transparent.
To fix this, I'm going to just quickly mix up my resin once more and mix in the bright gold pigment paste. I test the opacity by pouring a little bit on the tray and adding more pigment when necessary. And I use a silicone makeup brush to carefully spread the resin to the edges. Normally I would add liquid latex to protect the trays and prop them up onto cups, but I guess I was feeling a little experimental and wanted to see if I could do it without that extra step. You just have to be very careful so that the resin doesn't flow over the tray. But in this case, I knew I had to do another layer on the top side to add in the handles, so I figured it was worth the risk. I allowed that layer to harden for several days and then flipped the tray over and this time I put on the liquid latex on the back to protect the trays. I'll leave a link above if you're interested in seeing exactly how we do that. I added in my handles and here I am the next day adding a gold trim with an edding marker. And here's the final product. Both of these trays are listed in my Etsy shop and I have a link to my shop in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.